Women are amazing, period. Average female spends five to six years of her life menstruating. Wow. Yeah, that's right. And there's this whole ability to create new life. If you are a woman and also have diabetes, you might have noticed that your blood glucose fluctuates more during certain times of the month. That's right, ladies. You can add a period to the list of things that mess with your blood sugar. The culprit of that mess? Hormones. Both the menstrual cycle and blood sugar regulation are a result of a delicate hormonal balance. While the monthly period involves the participation of sex hormones like estrogen and progesterone, blood sugar regulation is linked to hormones like insulin. Now, inside the intricate system of our body, these hormones constantly interact amongst each other and send messages to your cells. Let's see how that impacts your blood sugar management. A typical menstrual cycle can last from 21 to 31 days. In this case, let's say you have a regular cycle of 28 days, which means that you get your period every 28 days. You get your period on day one of your cycle. And in this example, day 14 is the day of your ovulation. In the first half of your cycle, the levels of estrogen and progesterone are low, while in the second half, the levels of these hormones will be higher. This second half of your menstrual cycle is the time when you might have trouble managing your blood sugar levels. That's because estrogen and progesterone have an impact on insulin sensitivity. As if dealing with PMS, increased irritability, binge eating, and mood swings wasn't enough. There's no definite answer on how periods will affect each one of us. Many women report having higher blood sugar levels a few days before their period starts. But while you may experience the same, some women notice a sharp drop in sugar levels. So it's best to be prepared for unexpected changes and try to adjust to them accordingly. The connection between menstruation and blood sugar metabolism wasn't made yesterday. Back in the 1940s, Canadian Medical Association Journal published an article by H.I. Kramer, who identified the link between menstruation and blood sugar fluctuations. So why is the topic so rarely discussed? According to the International Diabetes Federation, there are currently 199 million women in the world who have diabetes. Women who should be aware of how the natural process of their monthly cycle may impact their blood sugar, especially since women with diabetes are also more prone to polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, which can be related to irregular bleeding, period pain, a very intense and or longer period, as well as skin problems. Your hormones can influence pretty much everything. Of course, this may vary from person to person, since everyone is affected differently. And there are certain actions you can take in order to prepare. Track your monthly cycle together with your blood sugar and your appetite. If the situation gets out of control, certain lifestyle changes might do the trick. And of course, a medical healthcare professional should be informed. Your medication might need to be adjusted, or it's possible that you might need to get tested for other conditions. The topic of menstruation is still a source of embarrassment for some, when it absolutely shouldn't be. It's an essential part of women's reproductive health and should not be considered taboo. It's an interesting and complex process that deserves more attention for the sake of feminine health. Do you feel any discomfort discussing your period with family, friends, or even your healthcare provider? Share in the comments below. To end, check out these five facts that you might not have known about menstruation. 1. May 28th marks the International Menstrual Hygiene Day. Any ideas on how to celebrate? 2. There is a Disney film about menstruation. Granted, it's from the 1940s, but still worth checking out. 3. The female human egg is the largest cell in the human body. It is the only human cell that can be seen with the naked eye. 4. Period sinking is an urban myth. No matter how much time you spend with your female friends or roommates, studies show that proximity to other females has no impact on period syncing up. 5. Menstruation may have led to humanity's sense of time. Most early lunar calendars were based on the length of a woman's menstrual cycle. Like the video? Be sure to check out this other useful content on diabetes management.